Last summer, the Iowa Department of Natural Resources released two trumpeter swans east of Oskaloosa. CRI reporter John Hoffman follows up on the feathered fowl. June 9, 2008, residents of Oskaloosa and Mahaska County gathered at the Muskunkee Marsh, five miles east of Oskaloosa, to witness the release of two trumpeter swans. Before their release, the swans were tagged with an identification code by the Iowa Department of Natural Resources. One, two, three. <laughs> At the end of December, only the female swan was spotted outside of the small town of Hartsburg, Missouri, 200 miles south of Oskaloosa, a common distance for a swan to travel. Nancy Grant, mayor of Hartsburg, Missouri, along with her husband, spotted the female swan. We could see that there were tags uh, when we looked through our spotting scope, and we could see some color but couldn't uh, read the numbers. So uh, we went back up to Columbia, Missouri, and bought another scope that's uh, higher at magnification. Came back to the cornfield, and wow, we could read the numbers. Mayor Nancy Grant read the numbers 8M7, the same identification code for the female swan released in Oskaloosa last summer. She then reported their spotting to the Trumpeter Swan Society located in Plymouth, Minnesota. The Trumpeter Swan Society keeps record of tagged swan spottings. Unfortunately, the male has not been seen since October of 2008, when the pair was last spotted outside of Oskaloosa. You know, accidental shootings, collisions with vehicles, high lines, those are always definitely issues that we have with that large of a bird. The female swan was spotted with about a dozen other trumpeter swans, so it does have a few companions, but it has yet to find a mate. Reporting from the Skunky Marsh, east of Oskaloosa, I'm John Hoffman. In another interesting twist to the story, Mayor Nancy Grant has been to Oskaloosa many times to visit her husband's relatives, Alan and Julia Rodemeyer.